Why to invest in paid courses when you can learn web development for free? Why to invest your time in deciding what to learn from where to learn when someone can make a roadmap for you as per your requirements in just two minutes for free? And all of this is made possible with ChatGPT. ChatGPT has grabbed a lot of attention recently and is breaking all the records. It has become the fastest app to reach 100 million users in just two months. So what exactly is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is basically a software program developed by OpenAI which is driven by artificial intelligence. You can think of ChatGPT as a smart talking robot. It can understand what you say or ask and give you answers even better than a real person. It's super clever and super knowledgeable robot friend that knows all the thing on the internet. But in the end, it's like any other tool. To get the most out of it, you should know how to use it properly. There is an art as well as science to it. And in order to get smart answers from ChatGPT, you should know how to ask smart questions to it. I've been using it for some time to learn fast and you can too. In this video, I will show you how you can make an effective web development roadmap for yourself, which can help you to get a job. Let's go to ChatGPT and I will go to chat.openai.com. So for asking questions to ChatGPT, there are two ways. Right away asking in a short and straightforward manner, something like give me a roadmap to learn web development. Okay, we first need to learn HTML and CSS, then JavaScript, then responsive design, front end frameworks. Okay, this path looks great uh, because these are the things that we need to learn to become a web developer. But as you can see, it's not really very descriptive. It also doesn't give us the resources. It also doesn't give us when should we learn what and so on. So the other way to ask questions to chat GPT is to give more context to it so that it gives you better response, which is more relevant to you. So now I will ask in a different manner and I will use study plan instead of a roadmap and give it more context. So let me write something like I want to learn web development. Give me a study plan to learn it along with the resources. Okay, this is much better than the previous one since it also includes multiple resources from where we can learn and also has provided the whole study plan which is divided into multiple stages. Still, we can improve on it by using certain prompts to get even better response. So the first way is by using 5Ws framework. So what is it? So the five W's that are there is who, what, when, where, and why. So while asking questions to chat GPT, we should consider that we are including all these W's in the question that we are asking. So the first one is who. So we need to assign a role that we want our model that is chat GPT to play a role like a teacher, developer, chef, and so on. So in our case, we'll want uh, chat GPT to become a coding tutor. The next is what? So what action we want our model to take? So we want our model to make a study plan for us for web development. So we'll write that as well. Then there is when, so the desired timeline. So I will say in just three months, I want to become a web developer and get a job. And we will also give the timeline, for example, in a particular week, how much time I can spend. The next is where it refers to the location or context of a particular prompt, meaning uh, so in our case, where would refer to whatever resources we want, whether it's video resources or, or anything else. The last but not the least is why it refers to the reason, the motivation or goals for a particular prompt. So why are we asking that question? Because we want to become a web developer. So I will include all of these W's now in my question that I'm going to ask ChatGPT and now you will see how better response it is going to give. Also, one more thing is there. So for asking who, there is a way. So it's an act as hack. So it's one of the most useful technique for crafting effective ChatGPT prompt. So we will write something like, I want you to act as, I have already written a prompt for that. Let's see how that turns out. So I've written, I want you to act as a coding tutor who makes detailed study plan to excel in web development. I'll be the student who has just started coding and you will be the tutor. I want you to provide links of only video resources, which are completely free. I can spend 20 hours per week and have a total of three months to do it. I want to become a web developer and get a job. Provide me the best study plan. Let's see how that improves the answer. So this is creating it. Now you can see how it has improved the overall answer. Now it has given me a smart answer rather than a normal answer. So earlier it was not distributing my whole study plan in two weeks and in months. Now it has done so because I have asked that I only have three months to do so. And 
the resources that it has given has also been given on the basis of the hourly dedication that I can give for completing the study plan. Isn't it really cool? What I would highly recommend to you is don't go for building projects after completing the whole study plan. Instead, build projects side by side. For example, once you are done with HTML, build a small website using HTML. Then learn CSS and add CSS elements to your existing project. Then make it more responsive after learning JavaScript and so on. You can even ask ChatGPT for project ideas since now it's a tutor for you. Now let's try asking ChatGPT for project ideas. For example, we have completed the week one. So what I am going to say is I have completed week one HTML and CSS and now I want to build projects based on this knowledge that I have gained. Give me some project ideas. That's nice. It has started giving me uh, project ideas. And the best part is if you're fearing building project from scratch, you can even take help of ChatGPT to build a basic project for you for something like say restaurant website. And then you can make necessary modifications to it and make a really good project for yourself. So let's give it a try. Now I want my ChatGPT to act as an expert React developer. So I have written this prompt, act as an expert React developer and code a responsive website for restaurant. I want you to give me the complete code for it as well. Okay, this is great. It has uh, now generated the app.js file and now it will, I think, produce more files like home, menu, contact, so let's see how this app looks like. I have coded this in Visual Studio Code and it has given me a very basic project, but it's a really good start. So there is a home page, there is menu page, and there is a contact page as well. However, when I was trying this code in Visual Studio Code, I was facing some issues because it was using some code which has been discarded now. So let me know what all issues you face. And if you are unable to overcome those issues, I have also given my repository link of this project in the description box down below. You can definitely check it out. You can then ask ChatGPT for tips for applying for web developer jobs and also for giving interviews and much more. So it's really a very useful tool if you use it smartly. It will not just make your learning process easy, but can also help you become an effective web developer. So that's all for this video. If you want me to make a video where we will actually build a really cool website using chat gpt let me know in the comments i'll surely make a video on that and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel for more such videos in future